Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and welcome to my stop on Not Too Shabby's Strawberry Goodness Release Hop and Giveaway. I hope you'll stick around to see what I'm going to create and find out how you can be entered to win a $25 gift certificate to the Not Too Shabby online store. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. In front of me is a look at the latest box of the month from Not Too Shabby. The theme for this month is strawberry goodness and that definitely describes the kit. It kind of gives me a strawberry milkshake or strawberry lemonade feel. Now at the end of the video, I'll show you some more close up pictures at each of the items. But for now, I just wanted to show you an overall look. You get two paper pads. One is kind of more, I kind of think it reminds you of a strawberry shortcake, but with a more grown up feel. You'll see the ephemera that goes with it. Again, kind of the coloring of that. But then you have these cute little girls to go with it. Over on the right, the other paper pad is so refreshing, and this gives me just that strawberry lemonade kind of vibe. I love the colors of the paper and the fun ephemera pack. Now this month, you get three stamp sets. You get this cute little one up here with the strawberry milkshake and two four by sixes. Over here on the left, it's kind of a tea time feel, and then on the right, which this set made my heart go pitter patter, is these cute little kawaii kind of strawberries and boba tea. I am just in love. And it also comes with some adorable shaker bits or embellishments. It is the strawberry shortcake sprinkles from Cat Scrappiness. And there's white dots, pink dots, white sprinkles, and then some cute little strawberries. And don't forget that this is a hop with a giveaway. So as I'm going through the process, I will tell you more about how you can get entered. And if I do leave you with any questions during that, make sure to leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty. Here's a look at the main supplies I'll be using today. From the Berry Sweet stamp set, I'll be using the strawberry in the upper right and some of the sentiments. And then from the So Refreshing paper pad, I am choosing the little strawberry lemonades in mason jars and the red glitter look paper. I love the look of glitter, but not the mess. I also got out a few coordinating alcohol markers to color my image in. To get started, I stamp my strawberry on a scrap of Nina Solar White and I use Memento Tuxedo Black ink for this since I will be coloring it with alcohol markers. Because this is a brand new stamp set, I did rub those oils off the stamp and I inked it up and stamped it twice to get a nice solid black. Once I had that done off screen, I did hit it for about 5 seconds with my heat tool before I brought in my markers for coloring. I will be using Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers today. I will list all the individual colors I used in the description box below. I do very basic coloring. I go over everything with the light, do the darkest shades with the dark, blend that out a little bit with the mid, and then go back over everything with the light. Now I will let you see most of the process here up close while I tell you more about the hop and giveaway. For today's hop, there is a group of Not Too Shabby Design Team members who will be sharing videos here on Instagram. Each of us will be featuring items from the kit, and I've already seen a couple sneak peeks, and I know that you are going to be super inspired. 
To get entered into the giveaway for this hop, you will need to visit each of the design team members videos, which you can easily do that by clicking on the hashtag in the title or searching for the hashtag that is up on screen now in your YouTube search box. That will bring up a handful of us who are participating. So you'll go watch each video, give that creator a thumbs up and leave them a kind comment. Once you have watched and liked and commented on each of the videos, you will then go to the raffle copter link that we will all have in our description box. You'll fill that out and there might even be some bonus chances for entries and then submit it. This hop you have from now until April 7th to enter and the winner will be announced on the Not Too Shabby YouTube channel, which I also have linked in the description box below. One lucky winner will receive $25 to spend in the Not Too Shabby online store. Not only do they carry their own products, which as you can see are so fun, but they also carry many other manufacturers. I hope that you'll check out the store and if you wanna go ahead and make a purchase now, I do have a discount code in the description box that saves you 10% on most items in the store. Once I had my image colored, I brought in my pattern papers to cut those down for my card front. For the red glitter look paper, I cut it to four by five and a quarter, and the final size of the strawberry lemonade piece was three and a half by four and three quarters. Because the lemonade piece would cover up the center of that glitter paper, I did bring in my Hero Arts nesting dies, and I cut a rectangle out of the middle of the glitter paper. This way I will have some of that to use later for a different project. Next, I brought in a scrap of black cardstock so I could make a very small border around the strawberry lemonade paper. I think I ended up cutting it 3 16 inch larger in both directions. I brought back in my strawberry, which I had cut using my scan and cut off screen, and realized that the strawberry lemonade paper was a little bit too busy to just plop my strawberry on top of. So to kind of mute that a little bit and help my strawberry stand out, I brought in a scrap of vellum that I cut to two and a quarter inches wide. I just went ahead and left all of the length because as you'll see here, I was just gonna wrap it around the black mat. This helped the strawberry stand out a little bit more. I wanted to add a sentiment to the front of this card, so I brought back in the Berry Sweet stamp set and my Misty. For the sentiment, I stamped the You Make Me right below where the strawberry would go with stays on jet black ink onto the vellum. Because the vellum is not a porous surface, you do have to use an ink like stays on. To finish the sentiment, I chose the So Berry and Happy stamps from the set, and I stamped these in Gina K Designs Cherry Red Ink on the rest of that scrap of Nina Solar White that I had cut my strawberry out of. These then, once they were stamped, I took them off screen and fussy cut them so that later I could make them stand out. Also, while I was off screen, I added my pattern paper piece to a card front and I added some foam tape strips to the back of my So Berry and Happy as well as the Strawberry. This way I could make those elements pop up off the center of the card for a little extra added dimension. To finish off the card, I brought in the strawberry shortcake sprinkles and I added three of the little pink dots on the vellum piece on the front of the card. Also on the inside of the card, which you'll see here in just a second, I stamped the strawberry in Gina K Designs Dusty Rose Ink. And here are some close up looks at that finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made today's card. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Don't forget to stick around for a look at all of the elements in the kit. And when you're done, make sure to click on that hashtag in the title or in the description box to keep hopping along. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye.
Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.